Welcome to the first 10 minutes of Bad North. In my first 10 minute series, I take an uninterrupted look at a game starting from the menu so you can get a true first impression look. For the first 10 minutes or so, there's just gameplay, no commentary. Then I give you my first impression thoughts afterwards. The timestamp for my commentary will be in the video description below. Let's get started.
All right, right from the get-go, I want to say this video is going to be probably a lot shorter than my others. Um, th this game doesn't have a ton to talk about, ultimately. Like, inside, you know, we can talk about how it makes you kind of f fearful or, you know, like Borderlands, there's a ton to talk about in the gunplay. Um, and going back to the first of the first 10 minute series, Hollow Knight, there is a ton to talk about. Um, in that game, but with Bad North, it's, I'm going to be honest, it feels like it should be a phone game. Um, it would honestly work best as like a phone game, something you can play uh, just to fill some time or whatnot, um, rather than being a, just a big console title. I mean, it's not huge, but if that makes sense. And I say that because, I mean, look right here. You're on a little island, you have units of troops, you move them around, they do the fighting, and then there's abilities. Um, but with a controller, at least on Xbox, it's kind of clunky to be able to activate some of those um, abilities, because you, you select a unit with your bumpers, and you can cycle th between your units with bumpers. Uh, but then to cycle between the abilities or special stuff, you hit over on the D-pad and then you move your thing where you want it to go. And it's all this, all this stuff is kind of happening on this little clunky controller. Whereas if you're playing on phone, you could tap on this, then tap on that part of the screen and, you know, whatever. So when I say it, work, it would work best as a phone game... Um, that's not like a slight to the game, saying it's it's not meaningful in any way. Um, because I did have fun. I had fun playing Bad North. But it's just the controls, the mechanics, and the style of gameplay I feel like would really work best as a phone app. So with all that said, uh, I was going to say I'm not going to do a voice so like a scripted voiceover like I have for some other videos. This is all gonna be just off the cuff, just kind of my thoughts with this title, because again, it's not very deep. There's not a ton to talk about here. Um, it takes some getting used to to get the combat. Like right here, you're seeing like I'm getting, I'm getting wrecked by <laughs> these early enemies. But you know, you can level up your uh, your units, your troops. Each troop has each unit, I guess, is what I'm gonna call them, has its own commander, and you kind of. Um, like so right there it says upgrade Y when you get gold you can upgrade your different um, units to be whatever you want them to be like this you can do uh, what it's bow sword or pikeman infantry so uh, bow or pikeman and the pikeman are better at defense the infantry are just kind of your basic attack um, units and then the bow is obviously or archery's range so it's it's not that deep I would get, I guess I would call this a mild RTS. Um, and my, you know, just my initial experience playing it was just kind of, and I did it on easy. So, <laughs> you know, I've, this video footage you're watching is literally the first time I'm playing it. Sometimes I go back to re record video or just record it for the first time. And, you know, it's a game I've played. So I have to kind of go through the motions. But this is legitimately <laughs> right here me trying to figure out what on earth I'm doing. And, you know, I didn't understand that I was actually selecting my units to deploy because I didn't have any extra units yet. Um, so, all in all, there's different, you know, uh, I guess that brings me to my next point. There are different units that you can get and when you Sometimes when you go to one of these islands, there's like a home Captain or chieftain or whatever they call it. And if you win without that unit um, Losing its commander because the guy carrying the flag in each of these is the commander the chieftain whatever if you Beat the level so to speak without losing your, that chieftain you get him as a Unit and so then you can use him for future raids uh, Which you will see um, in this gameplay footage Oh and there is a bit of um, a bit of customization that you can do with each of these units. So you've got your items, you've got your, I guess, class that each unit is, and then you've got like an upgraded power attack. 
And it's it's all very basic like that. It's just those three things from what I've experienced. And so when I say like, you know, again, it would work best as a phone game, it's because there's not a lot going on and it would, I think, really strive as a phone game. I don't know what I'm doing here with these units, but whatever. Uh, so all in all, it's just, there's not a lot to discuss. It's just, it's very simple, very, um, just kind of like a, a time sink. You just kind of do a few I island raids and I think I'm somewhere above 50% done with my campaign. I have no idea what I'm looking for. It's literally just been island after island with various different enemies that come. Um, so I don't, I don't really know what more there is that's going to be added as I play or maybe if I play on a higher difficulty if it's just harder overall or if other mechanics are introduced. I really don't know. Just, you know, on a first impression play this is what you got. You got this map, you move, you go to different islands, you select units here, um, or upgrade units if you want. So like, I think right here I'm gonna make him a bow, or my archery. And uh, you will see that my archery guy, or in other footage, is kind of the one I use a lot. Um, I've only ever fled once from an encounter. You can flee, and your uh, units take a boat that was um, of an, an enemy boat and flee from the island and then the the, the attackers burn down the buildings and uh, that's pretty much it so yeah i mean bad north it's pretty simple it's on game pass it was recently put on game pass just if you want a quick sort of mild rts um like tower defense type game yeah, oh man, tower defenses were my jam back when I was in high school and funnyjump.com was a thing. You know, you'd get a good tower defense and you can just sit there and it's kind of like passive playing. I guess there's all these like phone games called um, AFK such and such, which I don't, I don't get. Like, why would you play a game that you're not actually just playing, you're just running through the motions? But I suppose tower defense can be like that in a lot of ways. You kind of set up for waves and go from there but this one's a little more dynamic because you're um, you can actively move your troops around and uh, go defend different parts of the island like in this uh, footage right here so all in all bad north is it's fun it's just kind of repetitive and um, there's not there's not a lot happening I mean truthfully there's not a lot you can you can see right here it's very minimalistic the design is minimalistic um, you know, even the overall gameplay is kind of minimalistic. There's not a lot of, uh, there, I, I don't know, and maybe there is, but there's not a lot of, like, um, uh, uniqueness to mechanics, like, in turn, or, uh, uniqueness in, like, strategy. Like, okay, I'm putting my archers up on this hill. Does that mean they have better aim? Um, maybe. I don't know. From what I've seen, it just kind of plays the same. I do think that if you have troops on a hill and the enemies are trying to get up that hill, um, they're more susceptible to dying to your enemies that have higher, the high ground. As Obi-Wan Kenobi would say, it's over, I have the high ground. So, yeah, uh, this is a try at best. Um, I wouldn't buy this, I don't even know how much it costs. Um, it's just fun for, you know, some just, I just got home from work and I just want to play a game for a little bit, so. And that's Bad North. So just kind of a simple little game. Um, just a fun little time waster. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, leave me a comment down in the comment section. Hit subscribe, the bell notification button, all that good YouTube stuff that tells me that you'd like to see more of this type of content in the future. I have a Discord community. That link can be found in the video description box. It's open to anyone. Uh, there are server rules that we have. Um, we just want everyone to be respectful, be kind. Um, we're kind of just a family of adults playing games. A lot of us have kids. Um, some don't. You don't have to have kids to be a part of it. But that kind of just sets the uh, expectations for... Um, how we'd like people to act in the server. But you can also follow me on Instagram at wisdom for wizards It's mostly a board game Instagram, but if you'd like to see some video game stuff every once in a while, uh, you might be able to find it there as well. So anyway, thank you for watching. 
Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.